yeah, I know, yeah. It should, you can make quiet comments. Before. You shouldn't, at least. Not to say it won't happen, but you know what I mean. Thinks we can handle it. The other part of me is like, ah. So, uh, steals. So it's working. Alrighty. Steals. Yeah, you can do steals. Just add another row. Steals. An assist is okay. An Four. assist is anything where you pass the guy the ball, and without him making another pass, he makes a shot. What if he like takes it into the rack? If you pass it to him and he drives it down the lane, and makes a shot. That's an assist. Okay. Unless he dribbles for like, I think it's like less than like five or six dribbles. Okay. So basically, all right, we're saying my assist is where a guy makes a, the assist goes to the guy. Yeah. Unless, what if he like posts, what if he like posts up uh, and like works, works, works down low, then shoots, that's not assist. No. Okay. And it doesn't have to be like. All right, thank you for joining us here this evening. It's the Fairhaven Conquerors against the Dayspring Bible College Eagles. And we'll be getting started here in about three and a half minutes, and we'll get you some starting lineups for the Conquerors and for the Eagles. We thank you for joining us. The Conquerors played last night against Concordia Fort Wayne and lost 66 to 59, so trying to bounce back from that road loss and get a win here in our first home game of the season.
Again, we'll get you. A, we'll get the tip here in about three and a half minutes, uh, preceded by the national anthem. So first, right now, we'll give you the starting lineup for the Day Spring Eagles. Um, the six-one guard, number one, Daniel Adams. A five-seven guard, number two, Caleb Murray. A five-nine guard, number three, Cole Rehoff. A 6'2 forward, number 20, Eric Helgeson. And then a 6'2 forward, number 22, Bryce Rehoff. We'll get you the starters for Fairhaven a bit later. Last night against Concordia Fort Wayne, Joe Batrell led all conquerors with 15 points. And Brennan Fry had 13. And Will Vasilevsky had 10. A problem for the conquerors last night was free throws. They shot it right about 50%, so they're going to try to Get to the free throw line and cash those in because if you can't make free throws, that's that's part of the reason they lost. They missed they missed eight free throws and they lost by seven. So that's a lot of times how it goes. So see if the Conquerors can make their free throws here tonight. About two minutes till tip off. Again, we're going to be having the, the national anthem and then opening tip here in about two minutes. Thank you so much for joining us. We look forward to tonight's game. Our national anthem to be performed by the Cello Trio featuring Kate Mitchell, Karis Ramis, and Julia Gunzenhauser. An opening prayer by Pastor Dan Armacost. We'll take a break until opening tip.
Fairhaven and Dayspring played once earlier this season on November the 21st. And Dayspring won that one 75 to 57. Um, highest score for Dayspring was Bryce Rehoff with 23. And DJ Adams had 15. So going to try and stop those two guys who had really good games for Dayspring. For the Conkers, the starting lineup, Number 14, Ilya Mark Gachette. Number 23, Brennan Fry. Number 31, Joel Zdarsky. Number 51, John Petrell. And number 21, Joe Petrell to tip it off for the Conquerors. Trying to bounce back after a tough, tough 66-59 loss last night against Concordia here tonight. Our opening tip in the air and one by Dayspring. And that's Kayla Murray passing off, forcing up a three. It's in. Number three, Cole Rehoff opens the scoring for Dayspring, and it's 3 nothing Eagles. Patrell down the lane. Loses the handle on his way in. A little bit of contact there, no foul. And Dayspring will bring it back up, leading it 3 to nothing. That guard, Caleb Murray for Dayspring. With the ball, it's Bryce Rehoff. Down the lane, layup shot. We got a block. Blocking foul. John Betrell took the contact. Whistled for a blocking foul. His first foul. That's the team's first of the half. It'll be two shots for Bryce Rehoff. Again, last time against the Conquerors with 23 points. So trying to slow him down. First free throw of the game for Dayspring. It's up and it's in. 4 nothing early on. We got 19.34 left to play in our first half as Rehoff readies himself for the second. It's up. It's off, and the rebound to have a held ball, and possession arrow goes to the Conquerors. Good defense by Ilya Markashet. Pounced on it, forcing the jump held ball, and the rotating possession gives the ball to Fairhaven. Pressure here by Dayspring. Broken. Gachette had Patrell. Lost him. Layup shot. No. Rebound Dayspring. Back at the court in transition. It's Rehoff down the lane. Layup shot. No. Rebound Gachette. He's out on transition. And it's Caleb Murray and another held ball. Gachette forcing yet another held ball after the miss layup by John Patrell. And then the transition miss layup by Murray. It'll be Dayspring ball inbounding, and they have it, and they'll bring it up over the half-court line, leading it 4 to nothing with 18.58 left to play in our first half. Rehoff with the ball to Adams. Adams, top of the key, Rehoff. And that's a little floater up and in. Good-looking shot for number 20. That's Eric Helgeson, his first two, and it's 6 to nothing in favor of the Dayspring Eagles. Joel Zadarski hands off to Gachette. He'll force a three. It's in! Ilya Mark Gachette, a deep three. Pulled the trigger quickly, and it's six to three. They're on the board with 18-15 left to play. Rehoff. Crossing over. Murray, top of the key. That's Bryce Rehoff crossing over, spinning, shot up. No, rebound Fry. He lo nearly lost it. He'll kick it to Gachette. Solon, bad pass in transition. Had him earlier, didn't give it to him. Bryce Rehoff, layup shot, off. Trailer, up, in. That's Caleb Murray. Followed it in transition and got the points. It's eight to three. Brennan Fry over the 10 second line for the Conkers on offense. Top of the key. Hands off to Gachette. Two in a row. It's up. He banked it in. Ilio Mark Gachette for three, and it's eight to six. DJ Adams with the ball. Oh, swiped out of there, and it'll stay with Fairhaven. Beautiful defense there by Gachette. And it'll be Dayspring to inbound with 17.20 left to play. 8-6, to six. Gachette with a pair of threes, keeping the Conkers in it early. Adams with it. 
surveys, hands off to Rehoff. Rehoff swings it to his brother, I think, I, I assume, Cole Rehoff. That's number 22, he forces one up. In and out, no, and the rebound to Gachette. In transition. Down the lane. Oh, rejected out of there by DJ Adams. Came flying in for the rejection. Checking in for the Eagles. That's number two for the Conquerors. And it'll be... Barely finds rent. Rebound, Rehoff, down the lane. Floater, good. That's Bryce Rehoff for two, his third point, and it's 10 to six. 10 to six in favor of the Dayspring Eagles with 16-10 and ticking left to play in our first half of action. Another three. In and out, no, and the rebound to Dayspring. It's Murray bringing it up over the 10 second line. Right corner, Adams. Crossing over. Down the lane. Blocked. Rebound. Rehoff. Good. Five points for Rehoff early on, and they're doubling up the Conquerors. 12 to 6 and a steal. We have a foul on the Conquerors. That'll be Brennan Fry. And everybody is getting subbed out for the Conquerors. We'll get to these names. We've got Riley King, Schreiber, and here they come. 16 to six, they need some points here. Another bad pass, another steal. Off the foot of Dayspring, they save it. And a traveling violation called on the Conquerors after the scrum there on the court, and it's going back to Dayspring, leading it by 10 early action. The Conquerors again in need of a stop and some points here quickly. 16 to 6. 1409 left to play. Driving. Top of the key, Patrell. Patrell to Vasileski. Vasileski, top of the key to Schreiber. Schreiber, down the lane. You got a foul. Two shots for Andrew Schreiber. And D. DJ Adams with the foul, his first, and that's the team's second. Schreiber to the free throw line. And the free throw's up. On the rim and in. Ends the 8 nothing run. Schreiber ready for his second one. Bounces it three times. It's up. And that one's good as well. 16 to eight, it's an eight point ball game. Dayspring will bring it up. 13, 39 left to play. Joe Muscarella to Rehoff, back to Joseph Muscarella for two. 18 to eight, and we got ourselves a timeout by coach Dan Armacost of the Conquerors. The first, he's taken a full timeout here with 13.23 left to play in our first half. Thank you for joining us here this evening, Conquerors and Eagles. Failed to mention Conquerors head coach Dan Armacost and assistant coach Nate Spooner and the Dayspring Eagles are coached by Dan Fontana and their assistant coach is Aaron Sortman. The Conquerors have failed to find their rhythm on offense here in this first this first part of this first half. They've only taken they've only taken seven shots so far, and only two of them have gone in. They are two for two at the free throw line. Gachette with six. Schreiber with two. On the other side, Bryce Rehoff pacing the day spring Ingles with eleven so far. So the Conquerors have got to find a way to slow down their paint scoring. Possession will belong to the Conquerors, trailing it by ten. Joel Zadarski will trigger the inbound. And he will do so to Brennan Fry. 18 to 8. 13 20 left to play in our first half. Conquers again. Searching for something on off offense. Fry takes the screen. Down the lane. Price right corner to Gachette. Passes on the three. Down the lane. Floater up. Way off. Rebound. Fry came in there with the rebound. He'll lay it up and out. Rebound again. Save to the Conquerors. Joe Patrell, he'll try up a three. Way short, and the rebound in out on transition. Third. 
21 to 8. 12 minutes left to play in our first half of things. He'll drive down. He'll kick it out to Gone. Oh, held ball. No, they haven't called it yet. Now they're going to get a foul on Gachette. One, we have a game. The starter, Eric Helgeson. And it's Bryce Rehoff sitting. Vasilevsky checks back in for Gachette. It'll be Muscarella to inbound. We got some 2 2 1 pressure for the Conquerors. And Day Spring. Against Day Spring. Don't see that called very often. It was just now. Against Day Spring. Don't see that called very often. It was just now. Here we go. Brennan Fry bringing up. We got. To Riley King setting the screen. Brennan Fry. Down the lane. Layup shot up. Way off. Rebound. Will Vasilevsky. Vasilevsky. Skip pass. Patrell. Andrew Patrell tries to drive. Bad idea. Stolen. Day spring. Long pass up ahead. Stolen. Nearly stolen. Oh, it's going to it's going to Fairhaven. Okay. Looked like it might have been off Will's leg, but it's not. It'll be white basketball. 21 to 8. 11 08 left to play. Here comes Brennan Fry. Six fouls here on the Conquerors. Ten forty-seven left to play in our first half. Andrew Patrell shooting two. First one's up. It's in. Second free throw for Patrell is up, and the second one's off the mark, and the rebound to DJ Adams. He earned his second. It's 22 to 9. Conquers in search of. It's 22 to 9. Conquers in search of anything on offense right now. Next one's up. That one's also good. Two points on that trip for the Day Spring Eagles. They lead it by 14 early. Schreiber down the lane, layup shot up. Oh, he missed again. Another missed layup for the Ferry Vankleski floater up in. Will Vasilevsky collects the offensive or the offensive rebound collected by Riley King, who handed it off to Vasilevsky. 23 to 11 in favor of the Conquerors. A timeout taken by what? No. 23 to 11 in favor of Dayspring. I apologize. With 10.33 left to play in our first half. Timeout taken by Coach Dan Fontana of the Dayspring Eagles. like to thank the following people for making this live stream possible. First, Kayla Moody, our engineer, doing a great job. And then we have Mr. Lyle Geist. He's running the clock this evening, former conqueror. We also have uh, keeping the book this evening is Mr. Mike Warren. So we'd like to thank them for making this a possibility. Again, a 12-point deficit for the conquerors. The possession will belong to Dayspring at following the timeout. Trailing it by 12. Trying to find anything that they can get on offense. Their, transis their transition offense has been there, but they've been missing the wide open layups. Warren sounds. The teams will come back out. On the court for the Conquerors, it's Patrell, King, Schreiber, Vasilevsky, and Fry, the same that went into the timeout. And on the court for the Eagles, it's Caden Kahara, I believe is how you say that. Eric Helgeson. And then Murray and Adams and Muscarella off the off the hands a turnover for Dayspring and running to get it to Andy Patrell. He'll inbound to Fry. Up the court they come. 10:24 left to play in our first half of action. Maybe a little bit of momentum swing if the Conquerors can find a way to put the ball in the net this possession. King looking for somebody to pass to. Find Schreiber. Schreiber kick ball and it'll stay with Dayspring. Nearly a very dangerous pass there if I Schreiber. Andrew Patrell will trigger the inbound. Yeah. 
Eight turnovers for the Conquerors. Another steal. Adams down the lane. Takes the contact. Puts it up and in. 25 to 11. DJ Adams, his fourth point. They lead by 14. Brennan Fry. Rolls with the screen. Find Schreiber. Schreiber, right corner to Patrell. He'll cork a three. Oh, gracious sakes. Rebound Fry. No. And the ball is in the hands of Dayspring. Murray will settle it. And trying to get in on Will. Can't. And he got him. We got another three-second call on Dayspring. That's, that's, that's the second three-second call. Back into the game. Caleb Murray and Bryce Rioff. 25 to 11, 8.55 left to play here in our first half. Fry doesn't pull the shot. Right corner, Joe Patrell. Crossing over. Nearly loses the handle, is able to keep a hand on it. It'll be white basketball. Can't have that. 25 to 11, a 14 point deficit. Schreiber will. He'll shoot two. Joe Patrell. His first two attempts of the game. Fouls on number 22, Bryce Rehoff, his second. That'll be the team's sixth personal foul. And Joe Patrell cashes in on the first. 25 to 12. Seconds long. He put it in. A lane violation has been called. He made it, but it will be waved off with a lane violation by the Conquerors. 25 to 12, a 13 point deficit. Here come Dayspring. It's Rehoff. Murray. Murray, jump shot, up, way short, rebound. Patrell gets off to Schreiber, and here we go. 25 to 12, here come the Conkers. Another one batted away. Nine turnovers on the Conkers. Adams down the lane, Lap shot, good. Patrell, lamp shot, good. Now if we could just get a stop on defense. 13 point game, 27 to 14. Adams into Rehoff. Rehoff working on King. Stolen, Fry. Oh, he lost it. Bad play by Brendan Fry. He had a man wide open in transition. Right corner, Murray. Murray jumper in the lane, it's up. Rut rim, out. Rebound, Fry. He'll bring it up. Trying to outrace Murray. Hands off to Patrell. Patrello rumble down the lane. Patrello up. Blocking foul. Basket's no good, so he's going to the line to shoot two. 27 to 14. The foul is on DJ Adams, and that's his second, and that'll be the team's seventh foul. Thirteen point game. Free throw is up. Way short. Joel Zadarski checks in. Along with Ilya Mark Gachette. They're replacing Schreiber and Fry. Second free throw for Patrell is up. Again he missed. 0 for 2 at the line. Here comes DJ Adams. He's got two personal fouls on him. A steal by Vasilevsky. Nearly. Got to be careful with that reach in. Crossed him over. Right corner. A steal. There goes Vashlevsky in a run out. Can he make a transition layup? It's up. In. <laughs> 11 point game. Vashlevsky with that good defense. We got ourselves a foul. I think that'll be on Gachette. And if it is, it'll be his third. Not what you want there. Not what you want there. Yes, that is number three on Ilya Mark Gachette. 
the eighth team foul. So one and one for Dayspring. Lead to 11 now. Cut from 15 down to 11. Now let's see DJ Adams to the free throw line. Shooting one and one. He's bringing. Now what you want there. All the way down the lane. Layup shot short. Gets his own miss back. And Gachette. Out of bounds. Nearly had a steal there. He thought he did. He thought it was white basketball, but instead it'll go to Dayspring. 6.47 left to play. And it'll be DJ Adams to inbound. Caleb Murray. Now it's Rehoff with the basketball. Top of the key. Drives in. Rehoff right corner. Wide open for three. Book it. Thirty to sixteen. Zdarsky, another turnover. Number number ten, and he's on the ground diving for it. Looks like we have ourselves another jump ball, but this time the possession will go to Dayspring, following the eleventh turnover by the Conquerors here in the first half with six twenty-three left to play. Tyler Cooper to the scorer's bench, and he'll be entering and he'll be taking the place of Joel Zdarsky after that bad pass by Joel. Fourteen-point game. Steal by Vasilevsky, and again, all the way down, layup shot, good. Beautiful defense by Will Vasilevsky, and it's 30 to 18. Here comes Dayspring, leading it by 12. Wide open again for three. Book it again. Vasilevsky will yank, and hit. Vasilevsky with some scoring here in the first half. That gives him nine. Dayspring with the basketball, Adams. 33-21, 12 point game. Right corner, again, wide open three. Catch, shoot, missed it. Rebound, Gachette. Up the court, he's got Vasilevsky. Nearly loses it, throws it away. He did lose it. Up the court. Dayspring, stop, pop, fade away, jump shot. Not even close. Rebound, saved, out of bounds. Ooh, not quite. Dayspring basketball. A flurry of activity. A flurry of activity that will be ended by a 30 second timeout by Dayspring. Vasilevsky with a high arcing three, pulling them within 12. Thirty-three, twenty-one, five, seventeen left to play in our first half of action. The Conquerors showing a little bit of life. Let's see if they can get a stop on defense. Will Vasilevsky off the bench with nine and two steals. Great play from him off the bench. Into the game, Tyler Cooper, number forty-one, seeing his first time on the court. And DJ Adams will settle the offense. Pass inside. Got him up. It is a foul on Riley King, number 52. That's his second foul. That'll be nine now on the Conquerors. That's going to send number three to the free throw line. Well, he'll be shooting two. That was a shooting foul. Nine fouls now on the Conquerors as Rehoff puts the first one up and misses that one. So the free throw shooting has been suspect here in the first for Dayspring. Suspect at best. Let's see if he can miss another one. That one's good. 34 to 21. It's a 13 point game. Patrell runs and gets it. Patrell crossing over. Patrell down the lane. Pass off. Cooper could not hold it. Oh, couldn't hold the pass. He knows it. Turnover. Number 12 on the Conquerors. And here comes Dayspring. 2-2-1 pressure set up. Cole Rehoff up ahead. The press break from Dayspring has been successful this evening. 
Rehoff, again, settles it at the top of the key into Adams. He found himself wide open. He euros, up, no, rebound, Rehoff, up, no, rebound. Rehoff again. And it's tipped, and possession will stay with Dayspring with 27 seconds on their shot clock. 34, 21, 436 up to play in our first half. Murray searching, searching. Adams, behind the back pass, beautiful, right corner, wide open, three. Rimmed out, rebound, tipped again, another offensive rebound. That's been a problem for the Conquerors this season. Caleb Murray, right corner. In the, in the game, checking in was Jasher Asuncion, and the ball tipped away by Riley King, couldn't corral it, and they'll continue the offensive set. DJ Adams, behind the back dribble, down the lane. Takes the contact. Be on the floor, I believe. Not a shooting foul, but it will be two free throws because that is the 10th team foul on the Conquerors. DJ Adams, two for four from the charity stripe. That'll be number four on Ilio Mark Gachette. It's in. Not good. Ilya Marcochet has four personal fouls here in our first half. That's ten team fouls. And a full timeout taken by Coach Armacost. His second time out of the half. Second full time out of the half. And it'll be DJ Adams shooting one more free throw after the break. Will Vasilevsky pacing the Conquerors with nine first half points off the bench. Last time out, at Last time out against Concordia, Will Vasilevsky was put in the books for 10, five, two pointers. So 10 points for Vasilevsky. Let's see if the Conquerors can't get him the ball. He made his last three. A high archer swished it in. 4.05 left to play. Thirty-five, twenty-one, four oh five left to play in our first half. <laughs> DJ Adams gonna shoot his second free throw. He puts it up and in. Thirty-six, twenty-one, fifteen point game here in our first half of action with four minutes remaining. Right corner, Joe Patrell into Riley King. Riley King putting it up. No, gets his miss back. Top of the key, Fry. Jump shot up. Long. Rebound. Riley King had it. It's on the floor, and it's saved by Dayspring. Long pass up ahead. Layup shot. Good. That's Caleb Murray. And it's 38-21, and the Conquer is in need of something here on offense. And another steal. That's 13 turnovers for the Conquerors. All the other end, 23. Muscarella layup shot, good. His sixth point, and it's 40 to 21. Gonna need something here on offense. Patrell. Floater in the lane, no, gets his miss back. Puts it up, no, but. He will go to the free throw line, and he will shoot two. Where he is one for four at the free throw line. Fouls on Dayspring. It'll be their eighth team foul. That foul is whistled against Joseph Muscarella. Patrol at the free throw line. The first one's up. It's in. 
40 to 22. Andrew Bertrell checks in. Second one's up for Joe Patrell. Short, rebound, day spring. Out on transition. Right corner wide open. 40 to 22, inbounds play for day spring. Leading it by 18 here in our first half. A good goal for the Conquerors would maybe be to cut this within 12 or 10. Top of the key. Doesn't pull the three. Pass inside. Number 15, he's into the game. And it's Enoch Guo. And it's out of bounds off Brendan Fry. Saved off him by Caleb Murray, who is having a nice first half. He's got eight points. He'll trigger the inbound with 2.30 left to play in our first half. The Conquerors, we got ourselves a sub. Andrew Schreiber will check in. He's replacing Joe Petrell. 40 to 22. Inbounds play. Dayspring searching, searching, searching. Long pass in. It's taken by Rehoff. Floater in the lane. No. Again, saved off Fry. Almost like a broken record out here. Another save off Fry's leg. And then again, it'll be Dayspring basketball. Again, triggering the inbound to Rehoff. Rehoff swinging it to Muscarella. Muscarella down the lane, past top of the key, wide open, Murray. 4-3, no good. Rebound, whoa. Whoa, 4-3, no good. Rebound, whoa. Whoa, and he draws the contact. Number 15, Enoch Whoa. I hope I'm saying that correctly, and he'll go to the free throw line where he will be shooting two as it's the 11th team foul for the Conquerors. And that's number 32. Whistled on number 32, Will Vasilevsky. That's his first. Well at the free throw line. First one's up. Long. <laughs> 18 point ball game. First half of action. Thank you for joining us. 2.11 left to play. Guo. Put the second one up. That one's no good as well. And here comes Andrew Petrell pushing it out of there. Vasilevsky, right corner, Petrell. Top of the key, Schreiber. Schreiber to Vash. No, oh, he's still looking. Another steal. Stolen back by Vasilevsky to Petrell. Lamp shot good. Andrew Petrell, his third point. And now it's 40 to 24. Again, if we could get this down to 12 or 10 by halftime, layup shot, good. The answer from Caleb Murray, and it's 42 24. Caleb samples into the ball game. Number 13, bringing the ball up over half court. Vasilevsky tries that right corner three ball. Long. Ooh, way too long. Rebound. Patrell, it's behind him. Lost it. Here comes Dayspring out on transition. Down the lane. Stolen by Vasilevsky. Gets it back. Dayspring. Floats it up. No. Rebound. Out of bounds. Terrible mistakes here for the Conquerors. It's going back to Dayspring. 42 to 24. Beautiful rebound by John Batrell and then off the hands of Caleb Samples. In. Layup. Good. Wow. Nice looking play. That's number 24, Philip Cho, his first two of the game, and it's a 20-point lead. Driver, stop, pop, jumper, long, rebound, Patrell. Puts it back up. He is fouled, number 24, Philip Cho. That'll be his first. That'll be their team's ninth. Again, the Conquerors just need some points here before halftime. Trying to make this a manageable lead. John Patrell. Not not known for his free throw shooting prowess. First one's up. Proves me wrong. Guess they call that the announcer's jinx. 44 to 25. Conquerors haven't done too bad at the free throw line here in the first half. But they've just done bad on offense. 
Second one's up. That one's way short in the rebound. A foul is called. Not much contact there, but they are going to whistle it against Andrew Patrell. That'll be the team's 12th. And again, back to the other lot, back to the other side for two free throws for Dayspring. And it'll be number three, Cole Rehoff. He's one for two at the free throw line. Trying to build on this Dayspring lead. It's at 19. First one's long, bouncing out. Riley King will quickly check back in. He'll take the place of Andrew Patrell, who just committed that personal foul. I believe that was his first. Rehoff puts it in. Second one, at least. 45-25. It's a 20-point ball game. Here comes Will Vasilevsky bringing it up over the 10-second line. Long pass. Samples. Samples. Back to Vasilevsky. Vasilevsky has his man right open, right side. Fakes the three. Down the lane. Forces one up. He is fouled. Number 24. Whistled, whistled against Philip Cho. That'll be his second team foul if it is indeed on Cho. 35.3 seconds. Left to go in our first half. Schreiber to the free throw line. Bounces. Shoots. Misses. That one hurts. He was two for two going into the possession. Now he's two for three. Dribbles it three times. Flick of the wrist. It's long this time in the rebound to Dayspring. 45-25. Cho loses it, gets it back. Got ourselves a foul. Whistled on the Conquerors. Foul whistled on number 13 for the Conquerors. Caleb Samples, that's his first, and that's the team's 13th personal foul. First free throw is off for Caleb Murray. He's one for three at the free throw line, trying to make it two for four. Bends the knees, flicks the wrist. It's pure. 46-25, long pass, samples, right corner. He'll shoot the three. Long. Rebound by Shalesky. Right corner, Schreiber. He'll pass on the three. Down the lane, float, floating jump shot. Nowhere even close. Rebound, Riley King had it, lost it. And we've got ourselves a jump ball, held ball, possession arrow, Conquerors with 10 seconds remaining. That's a big play. Ball back to the Conquerors, a chance to cut this lead under 20 going into halftime. 46-25, Schreiber to trigger. Finds Vasilevsky, 10 seconds left, floating. No. Rebound day spring. Long pass ahead. Wide open. Four. Three. With two. Lamp shot. No. Rebound with one. It's up. No good. Right off the rim as we as the first half buzzer sounds and the Conquers are going to the locker room trailing it by 21. 46 to 25 at the end of the first. We'll get you the first half stats here in just a second. This is Fairhaven Media's coverage of Conquers basketball. Weird.
Oh, yeah, 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 I know what you're talking about. That was just how Okay, I'll guard. It looks like you could be a Viking. And I'm just like... Luke, is this a Christian team that we're playing? Like, they all have long hair and all their... I'm kind of impressed, though. Not too much. I'm kind of impressed, though. They're really classy. Over here. At 21 percent, or 21 points, not percent. And it'll be Rehoff. That was Murray. Now it's Murray again. There we be Rehoff. Skipping. Adams in. Rehoff. Helgeson. And it's stolen by the Conquerors. Good start on defense for the Conquerors. Threads the needle to Fry. Fry sees Gachette. Loses him for a second. Fry, right corner for three. It's in. Put it in for Brendan Fry. His first points of the night, surprisingly. Enough. One of the Conquerors' most proficient scores. And down the lane on the other end, the answer from Rehoff. Bryce Rehoff. Sadarski. Luttrell. Stolen. First turnover of the second half for the Conquerors. On the other end, Dayspring up in. Bad start here to the second quarter, the second half. Fry, jumper. Long, rebound, day spring. Last shot was whistled, was a two. And it'll be over and back violation. Pardon me, that last shot by Brendan Fry called a two, so it's gonna be 50 to 27. Two points for Brendan Fry. But it will be Conquerors basketball trailing it by 23. They need to run here coming out of halftime. They're going to need a run. They take Fry down the lane, and he's bumped, and he's fouled on the ground on Day Springs number 22. That'll be Bryce Rehoff. It's going to be his first. That'll be his third, and it'll be the first team foul of the second half for Day Spring. Inbounds play. Sadarski searching. Finds a wide open Gachette. He missed. Gets it back and in. Wide open Gachette. Easy put in, he missed the first one, did get his miss back and put it up in it. Searching. Here comes Dayspring. 50 to 29. Oh, a floating pass. Could have been tipped. Adams down the lane. Contact. No. Thrown up. No. Joe Patrell. Here he comes. 50 to 29. In transition. Lost it. Turnover. Another one for the Conquerors. This is. Not what you want, two turnovers, four possessions for the Conquerors, 50 to 29. They had transition here, trying to cut into this day spring lead. 50 to 29, Adams in. Murray, Murray will settle things on the Conquerors logo. We got another three second violation, again against Eric Helgeson, his third three seconds. And the coach looks a little upset. We have a sub coming in. Will Vasilevsky electrified the Conquerors in the first half with nine points off the bench and some quality shooting. One for two from beyond the three-point line. And Brendan Fry will bring it up over half court. 
Vasilevsky in to Batrell. Batrell hands off to Gachette. He traveled the basketball. Prematurely stepped and yet another turnover. Three. Three in consecutive possessions for the Conquerors. Can't have that. DJ Adams up ahead. Beautiful press, press break by Dayspring. Murray down the lane, right corner, wide open. Rehoff, catch, shoot, three in the air, it's long. Rebound to Batrell. He'll end up to Fry, and Fry will settle things. Come to Shet. Right corner, Fry, stop, pop, three in the air. Missed it. Rebound, Dayspring. Right corner, Adams, catch, shoot, three in the air. It's pure. 53 to 29. Right corner, Betrell. Works on his man. A floater across the lane, airmailed it. Rebound, brought out by Dayspring. This is make or break time for the Conquerors. 53 to 29. Murray finds Helgeson down the lane. Floater up, no. Rebound, Betrell. Betrell gives it off to Gachette. And Gachette will bring it up. 53 to 29, 16 34 left to play. Fry searches. Into Gachette. Gachette right corner, Patrell. Shooting, missing. Through the legs of Helgeson, here comes Gachette in transition. Trailer to Patrell, right corner, Vasilevsky. He's ready to shoot. He missed. Oh, that was a good look. A good look for three for Will Vasilevsky. On the other side, DJ Adams, inside pass. Stolen by Vasilevsky, and here he comes. 53 to 29, they need points here. Down the lane, pass to Patrell, layup shot, good. 53 to 31, it's a 22 point ball game. Passing to Helgeson, it's off his hands and it's going back to the Conquerors. Maybe a little bit of momentum swift shift here as Schreiber checks in for Joe Betrell, number 21. 53 Schreiber replacing 21 Betrell. Got another sub. It's Grant Murray, he's checking in. 15.41 left to play. Conquerors, let's see if they can get some positive points on this possession. Four turnovers here in the second half, following a 15 turnover performance in the first half. Not what you want in repetitive. Down the lane, Gachette. Stripped. Patrell, fade away, up, off. Rebound, Dayspring. Good shot by Patrell. He misses. And here comes Dayspring. 22 point ball game. Congress needs some momentum anytime now. Rehoff, back, three. Missed it. Rebound, Dayspring. On the floor, Shot. searching for it. And it is a nice play by Andrew Patrell to force the turnover. It'll be 53 to 31, it is white basketball. Here they come, 22 point game. Andrew Patrell forcing, top of the key, Fry. Looking, right corner, right, right wing, it's Schreiber. Schreiber, nearly another turnover by Schreiber. Patrell, searching, searching. Nothing happened in offense. Right side, nearly yet another steal. 16 seconds left on the shot clock with 14.58 left to play in our second half of action. 53 to 31, Dayspring. One foul against Dayspring here in the second half, not against the Conquerors. They find Vasilevsky, wide open. Passes on the three, gives it off to Fry. Tripped was Vasilevsky. Gachette, ready to fire. Fakes him up in the air, floats one up, in. Oh my, acrobatic play, Ilya Mark Gachette. And it's 53 to 33. Now a stop here would be golden for Conquerors. Adams, top of the key. Right side, Rehoff. Rehoff to Murray. Murray, Rehoff. Surveys, Adams, right corner. He's looking. 53-33, 20 point game. Adams, crosses over. Fade away, two pointer up, no, and the rebound will be tracked down by the Conquerors. And here comes Gachette. A false shot clock violation alarm.
Don't see the call there. It looks like it might be a held ball. A timeout taken by Dayspring. A full timeout. Sorry, I don't really know what happened there. I think it'll be a held ball, and if it is a held ball, it will indeed be day spring possession. 53 to 33, 14 12, that's the play in our second half of action. We thank you for joining us here on Fairhaven Media's coverage of Conquerors basketball. Better job on offense for the Conquerors here in the second half. Eight points already, but you can't turn the ball over at such a heavy clip. That would be, that's already four turnovers on the Conquerors. And obviously that's four too many. And if we keep going with this pace, we'll beat last half's amount of 15 turnovers. So when you're down by this many, not that there's a set thing you set, you know, thing you can follow to get out of a 20 point hole. But one thing you can definitely do is keep control of the basketball and take good shots. So we got to watch the Conquerors, and obviously that's what Coach Armacross is telling them in the huddle. Got to get it, grab the rebounds. Can't let that many offensive rebounds in the first half. A ton of offensive rebounds for the for the Day Spring Eagles. So you got to watch out for that. 53 to 33, 14, 12 left to play in our second half of action. It will be Day Spring basketball. So they called it a jump ball on rotating possession. It goes back to Day Spring. Essentially a turnover for the Conquerors. Not what they wanted. That will be number five on the Conquerors. Over the 10-second line is Dayspring. The Eagles leading it by 20 over the Conquerors. Adams finds top of the key. Rehoff wide open. He'll uncork a three ball. Way short. Again, another offensive rebound. Pass inside to Muscarella. He lost it. Searching, scooping, shooting, scoring. Beautiful play by Joe Muscarella. Put it up and in. 55-33. Put him in the books for two. Top of the key. Vasilevsky doesn't shoot, finds Fry. Fry looking for room, gets his man up in the air, drives back. Vasilevsky, he's ready for that three ball. Short. Re the corner. And a foul is called on Dayspring. It'll be just their second team foul of the half. And that one's going to be whistled against number 22. That'll be number four on Rehoff. Be number four on Rehoff. Big surprise here. As Vasilevsky bounces four times, puts it up in the air, it's going to be long. Need to make the free throw shots. And that's something they did not do in the first half. Missed eight. Made six of 14, 42%. Vasilevsky bounces four times, puts it up. This one's good. And here we go, 55, 34. Can they get a stop on defense and put it into points on the other side? Wide open again, doesn't pull the three. Finds a seam, fades away, no. Rebound Vasilevsky. Vasilevsky trying to do too much there. Scoops it up, no good, and the rebound to Gachette. There'll be a foul called. It'll be on Dayspring. Shooting two. Offensive. Ilya Marquechette is going to shoot two. It's a defensive foul on number five. Hard foul there. Free throw up. He put it in. 55-35. Looks like he's going to stay in. Took a really hard fall there. And we got a sub for the Conquerors. It'll be Riley King. Checking in for Brendan Fry. Gachette is going to shoot a second free throw. It's up, and it's off, and the rebound to Dayspring. Here they come, 55-35, 20-point game, 12.30 left to play in our first half. Right corner, wide open, sets, shoots, misses. Rebound, Riley King. Up ahead, Schreiber. Here they come over the 10-second line. Right corner, Vasilevsky. Pass inside to Riley King, and it was off his hands. Intended for Schreiber. Up ahead to Rehoff, put it up, no. Rebound, Adams, no. Out of bounds. Oh, and it looks like they're gonna give it to Fairhaven. 
Okay. Looks like he saved it, but he didn't. It'll be white basketball, 55-35, 20-point game. Will Floater, no, rebound, Dayspring, in a run out, Two, three on one. Adams, back, layup, no, foul. Another hard fall. It'll be two shots. Kayla Murray's gonna shoot two. It'll be the first foul against the Conquerors here in the second half. Be Andrew Patrell, that's his third personal foul. First one's bouncing off. A bad first half free throw shooter. Shooting team was Dayspring. Let's see if they can get a little better here in the second. But they are 0 for 1. And Caleb Murray trying to make it 1 for 2. Flicks the wrist. It's off the back iron. And an offensive rebound. Layup shot. Good. Now that's something you just can't have. 57-35, 22-point game. Here comes Cachette, 11.46 left to play. We need our offensive rebounds for Dayspring to get a little less. Cassette for three. Missed it. Look, that one looked good. The rebound. in the run out was Kayla Murray and he'll settle the offense on the Conquerors logo. Here's Muscarella, right corner. Grant Murray shoots. Back iron, it hits the top post and it'll be out of bounds. 11.08 left to play, 11.09 left to play. In our second half of action, we got a timeout taken by the Conquerors. It'll be a 30 second timeout taken by Coach Dan Armacost talk things over. They spring out scoring the Conquerors by one here in the second half. It's a 22 point ball game. Let's see if the Conquerors can get some positive, something positive going here on this next play. Number five of Day Spring took a hard fall, called it the called a foul. Gachette made one out of two and then on the other side another foul called but uh, Kayla Murray missed both free throws and the rebound came back to the Conquerors and they will have it when we get out of our timeout. Thank you for joining us here this evening. Our next Conquerors broadcast will be February the 5th. Actually, our next and our, uh, our last Conquerors broadcast will be February the 5th, Sunday evening around 8 o'clock. It will be the Fairhaven Conquerors against the Fairhaven alumni. Always a fun game to bring for you. We'll have that one. That's the next, again, and the last game that we'll be bringing you here for the Conquerors season. <clears throat> Conquerors coming in at one and three. Brennan Fry brings it up. Hands off to Vasilevsky. Vasilevsky through the hands of John Petrell. Wasn't expecting it. It was a good pass. He just wasn't expecting it. Regardless of what happened, it is a turnover. It'll be number six on the Conquerors. 2-2-1 two, two, pressure. Oh, and they... Got a little lucky. Oh, we got a foul on number one. And if I'm right, if I'm, if my numbers are correct, that's his third personal foul. And that's number four already on Dayspring. Adding up quick. Fry. Oh, he pulls it back. To Patrell. Layup shot. No. Rebound. Adams. He'll bring it up himself. Long pass up ahead. Reoff layup. He traveled with the basketball. Looked like he took one too many steps, and the ref agrees. Here come the Conquerors, trailing it by 22. Fry, stop, pop, three in the air, book it. Nice looking shot for Brendan Fry, and if we can get him going, that would be helpful. 57-38, it's a 19 point ball game. Down the lane, untouched, Reoff, up, foul, on the floor, on Fry. That'll be number two on the Conquerors. That's number two on Brendan Fry. It's on the floor, so it will not be a shooting foul. It'll be inbounded, and it's going to be Murray to inbound. He finds Rio. He finds his. He finds Murray, the other Murray. Into the game, I failed to mention, is Jacob Timonen. 
Jump shot up, out, offensive rebound, tipped in. Beautiful offensive board and tip in by DJ Adams. Into the game, Jacob Timonen again for the Eagles. Fry, surveys, looks, finds Joe Petrell. Joe working on his man, down the lane, forces one up, off the rim now. Can't get anything to go their way. 59-38, here they come, halfway mark of the first half. Can the Conquerors find something positive here on the offensive end? Timonen off, hands off, it's Murray. That's, that's Murray. Down the lane, handoff, layup, good. Bryce Rehoff. He's in the books with 15. Right corner, Vasilevsky to Petrell. Up off the glass, no good. Will tips it up and in. Beautiful play by Will Vasilevsky. 61-40. 21 point ball game. Can the Conkers get a stop here? It's off his foot. Right corner. Working on his man, reverse layup. Beautiful play. Absolutely beautiful. Grant Murray put it in, 63-40. Right corner, wide open. Catch, shoot, release the three, way long. Rebound into the hands of Dayspring. Will Vasilevsky lost that stroke from three. He's one for four. In transition, Rehoff, right corner. Stops, pops, gets it back. Tim Timonen for three. Long to the right. Saves it to Dayspring, top of the key. In the lane, floater, beautiful play. That guy's a bucket getter. On the other side, got ourselves a blocking foul. It'll be on, tried to take the contact against the smaller defender, number 22, was not paid off. He'll get his, and if, I'm, if my numbers are right, that'll be number five on him, if it's on number 22. That, nope, that's number four on him. My numbers are wrong. It's number five on the team, though. Brennan does make the first free throw, Brennan Fry. Bunch of subs coming in. Gachette steps in. J.J. Buscogger, first minutes. And then Riley King returns. 65-41. Fry, second free throws up. It's pure. 65, 42, 8-12 left to play. Wide open. Layup good. A total lapse on defense, and Jashira Sutsian puts it in. 67-42, Fry sees daylight, and he is reached in and fouled upon by a Dayspring Eagle. Number four. Number four, and that's Jasher Asuncion. Or Asuncion, however you say that. 67-42, inbounds play. Vasilevsky off his hands, turnover. All the way on the other side. The lane, layup shot. We got ourselves a foul. That'll be on. It's on the ground. That'll be on 11. That'll be James Buscogger just into the game. That'll be the team's third foul. 7.51 left to play, and if the Conquerors don't get something going now, they might never get something going. 67-42. We go. Inbounds play. DJ Adams slaps the ball. Looking, surveying. Gets it in. Wide open. Timon in. Off his hands. And it's a turnover. A long pass up ahead, Vasilevsky. Layup shot, sees the daylight. It's good. Will Vasilevsky puts it up and in. Here they come, 67, 44, 23 point ball game. 7.36 left to play. Defense right down the lane. Oh. And that one, my friends, was too easy. Cole Rehoff put it in. 69-44, wide open Riley King. That was too easy too. Riley King puts it in his first two of the day. 69-46, here comes Dayspring. DJ Adams working on Gachette who has those four fouls. And it's Timon in air ball in the rebound. Well, the ball will belong to the Conquerors. All right, 6.58 left to play. Not that the last 13 minutes haven't been crunch time, but this would be crunch time for the Conquerors. Fry crossing over, looking, surveying. 
Drive down the lane, beautiful layup shot up. No, rebound. Dayspring in transition. Buscogger down there. Out of bounds, and the possession will go to the Conquerors. The loose ball. Into the game, checking in for Dayspring is Jeremiah Friel. Jeremiah Friel. And number 15, and that's Enoch Guo. Enoch Guo in the game for Dayspring. Buscogger layup, good! His first two of the night. J.J. Buscogger puts it up and in. 69, 48, right corner, Guo, off his hands. He does save it, over his head to King. King to Fry, Fry up ahead, long pass to Vasilevsky. Vasilevsky off the leg. He should have gone up with that, but he did not. Decided against it, and here comes all five. We're going to get subbed out here for the Conquerors. We have Cooper, Schreiber, Andrew Petrell, Joe Petrell, and Joel Zdarsky all checking in here for the Conquerors. Long pass. Layup by Guo, no good. Here comes Brennan Fry. Fry up ahead to Schreiber. That's tipped out of bounds, and the possession will belong to Dayspring. I mean, the possession will belong to the Conquerors. 69 to 48. Joe, Joel, Andrew Schreiber to inbound. Looking, finds Petrell. Petrell working on a smaller defender here. Let's see if we got ourselves a mismatch. Down the lane, he's gonna take a charge. Joe Petrell runs in to DJ Adams, and Adams with the contact collects the charge. The fourth personal foul against Dayspring. The first against Joe Petrell. Cooper in the defense. Speedy number three down the lane, layup shot, good. That's number 10, his first two of the night. That's Jeremiah Friel. On the other side, it's Andrew Schreiber. Joel Zadarski has been just virtually non-existent here today. Cooper, layup, good. That's Tyler Cooper, his first two. 71 to 50 in favor of the Asuncion, lost it, gets it back, and it's gonna be day spring possession. DJ Adams with the basketball, dribbling on the top of the Conqueror's logo. Team leading by 21. Crossing over, searching, down the lane, spins, Euro. Beautiful finish! DJ Adams put it up and in. 73 to 50, great defense by Joe Petrell as well. And Schreiber will pick it up, nearly lost it. Joel Zdarsky. Joe, floater, no, tipped out to Zdarsky. Zdarsky, into Petrell. Beautiful passing sequence here by the Conquerors. Finishes off with an out of bounds play. Possession belongs to Dayspring. <laughs> Nothing doing on offense right now for the Conquerors. 73 to 50 in favor of Dayspring, a 23 point ball game. And some reserves checking in. Back in the game, number 24, Philip Cho. And also into the game. is Muscarella as he finds right corner. That's Cho, Cho working, layup, no. Rebound Cooper, strong rebound and he'll give it off to Schreiber and he'll bring it up over the 10 second line with his team trailing by 23 with 425 left to play. Schreiber searching, crossing over, sees daylight down the lane, it's foul on the ground. It'll be on number 23, Joe Musca Joseph Muscarella. That'll be the 17th foul, even though it's on the floor, it will be seven, so it will be one and one for Andrew Schreiber. Join us after the game as we select the Red Fox Cafe player of the game. 73 of 50. One and one here for Andrew Schreiber. Red Fox Cafe player of the game. One and one chance here for Schreiber. The first free throw, the one that counts, is out. Rebound though by Gachette. We got a foul, a hold foul, I believe, on the ground. 24 of Dayspring, that's Philip Cho. That one's on the ground as well, but then again, it is bonus for the Conquerors, so he will be shooting one and one. 73 to 50, free throws up, it's in. 
We see a lot of improvement with that free throw for Ilya Markashet. He's two for three on the night so far, trying to make it three for four and give the Conquerors, cut the Conquerors deficit to 21. It's up, it's off, and another offensive rebound. Joel Zadarski doesn't shoot that three, he had daylight. And instead it's gonna be a hell of a 70 fall. 73 to 54 with four minutes remaining, rejected by Vasilevsky. Beautiful Brock. Here we go. 30 seconds on the shot clock. Quick score here for the Conquerors. Trying to make this a game once again. Into Patrell. Crosses. Beautiful play. And one. Andrew Patrell puts it up and in. 73 to 56. And a free throw coming. Patrell to shoot by seven. 73 to 50. Because that does not seem very believable. Physical basketball for these conquerors. We will be awarding the Red Fox Cafe player of the game. Gachette's going to be shooting one and one. Should be 10 team fouls. Should be two shots, but. Should be 10 team fouls. Should be two shots, but. Mistake by the ref. Yeah, it should be two shots. So Gachette. Is going to get a second chance. He will get a second chance. Bounces, shoots, scores. 73-57. We need some full court pressure. Pass ahead. Stolen by the Conquerors. Here comes Patrell. Tipped out of there. Stolen by Dayspring. A beautiful play by the Conquerors, but they got it right back. Right corner. A shot is up and in. A fadeaway! Wow, number 15 made him pay. Enoch Guo on the other side, a turnover by the Conquerors, handing it back, and uh, well, the game ain't over till it's over, but 75 to 57, 18 points, 321 left to play. As they say, anything can happen. Dayspring with the basketball, inbound, finds his man, and they'll bring it up with 318 left to play. Vasilevsky with that tight defense on Murray. Murray to Cho. Stolen by Fry. Here they come in a run out. In transition. All the way to the other lane. No. Rebound Vasilevsky. Up. Out. Rebound. Day spring. And he, we have a man down and injury. Will Vasilevsky on the ground. Looks like he might have rolled an ankle. Team surrounds around him. The crowd quiets. He went up for a rebound. Came down hard. It looks like he's writhing in pain. 75-57. Three minutes remaining in our second half. Scary fall there for Vasilevsky. Hopefully this is just a cramp situation. But the way he fell down, it looked like he might have twisted a, an ankle or possibly even worse, a knee. And he remains down. And he remains down with three minutes left to play here. 18-point lead for Dayspring. Conquerors got a little bit of life here in the last couple of minutes, cutting it down from 26 to 18. Um, we got a foul on Brennan Fry. That'll be his third personal foul. And he's up. Crowd will give him a round of applause as he'll hobble over there to the sideline. Looks like it might have been a cramp situation. 75-57. The ball will be inbounded. It'll be white, black ball, black ball. As Will remains down. Seventy-five, fifty-seven. Day spring possession with three minutes left to play. Not what you wanted to see late in a ball game. Somebody go down hurt like that. Here we go. Inbounds play. Day spring. In to Cho. Cho working on Gachette. Turns. Spins. Shoots. Banked. Missed. Rebound. Fry. Nearly went in. Another almost a prayer almost. Not answered. Fry.
foul. Shooting two. Number 53 is Andrew, but Andrew Schreiber. He's shooting two. That'll be number 23, number four for him. That's Joseph Muscarella. That's his fourth foul. Two free throws for Andrew Schreiber. First, first of two here for Schreiber. Bounces three times. Flicks the wrist. It's in and out. It's been that kind of night for the Conquerors. Two points would surpass the amount of points they scored last night against Concordia. The second free throw by Schreiber is up. And it's long, but the rebound tracked down by... Oh, look, it's going to be tracked down by the Conquerors. Nice rebound. Fry, Schreiber, no corner. Nobody in the corner there. That's a bad play. Samples. Back to Schreiber. Schreiber finds Samples. Doesn't pull the trigger on that three. And nearly a mistake there by Samples. Didn't throw it away, though. Saved by Gachette. Gachette to Samples. Get him a three. And it's a turnover. Clock was at zero. Floats one up. It's in! He put it in! Philip Cho from nearly half court thought he heard time end, and so he threw it up, and he threw it in! What a shot from Philip Cho. Never seen something quite like that. Oh, and it's a steal on the other end, and the doors are going off. Layup shot, Muscarella, good. The doors are falling off the Conquerors here. S steal on the other end, it's a 23 point game, and they're under the threat of getting blown out here at home. Got a timeout into the game. The reserves come in after the loudest rise from this Conquerors crowd comes after Philip Cho threw up a floater from half court and banked it in. He thought he, he, thought he heard his coach yell shot clock, so he threw it up. And he threw it in. Speaking of prayers being answered, 80 to 57. The Conquerors falling apart here in the latter end of this half. Finds, it's off his hands, that'll be a turnover. Sam Wang off his hands. Tim Zhao threw it away. Patrell to trigger, finds Reardon. Reardon to Patrell. Right corner, Tyler Cooper. He'll shoot if he's given the opportunity. Top of the key, Patrell into fr King, another turnover. Stolen by Cooper. Cooper tries to jump on the floor, does it. Blocked out of there by Patrell. Patrell, and that'll be off the foot of Day Spring. It'll be white basketball with a minute four left to play. Crowd still buzzing after that half court. White basketball to be Andrew Patrell to trigger in. Finds his man Cooper. He'll, oh, he doesn't shoot the basketball. Reardon, King, working. Floating, missing. Rebound day spring. Off his hands, and it'll be Philip Chow to, Cho to bring it up. Not Chow, sorry. Way, oh, he almost hit that too. That would have been a prayer as well. Here comes Andy Patrell. Not t your typical point guard. Into Tyler Cooper. Gets to a spot. Misses. Doesn't shoot it. Reardon into King. King off his hands. Saved out of bounds. 35.1 seconds left in our second half of action. A disappointing end here to the second half. Samuel Wang. Over half court, it is Caden Kahara. Black basketball. Day spring. 22 seconds left on the shot clock. 26.5 left, game clock. Inbounds play again, it's Sam Wang to inbound. Finds his man. He'll force one up. And put it in! He put it in again! Oh my! Another one for Philip Cho! 83-57, Bus Cogger fouled. With five seconds remaining, Bus Cogger is going to shoot two after yet another three. 
I've never seen anything quite like that in a basketball game. Buscogger took it all the way down and got fouled. He's going to shoot two. Another improbable three for Philip Cho, who's getting a standing ovation from his bench after going two for two from three off the bench. Buscogger, free throw, missed it. 83-57. Free throw up, short, tapped out of bounds, saved out of bounds with 1.5 left, 83-57. And that'll do it. The inbounds play secured. Jacob Timonen dribbles it out. And it's the Day Spring Eagles coming into Conqueror's Gym and knocking off your Conquerors, 83 to 57. We'll get you our final stats in just a second as the Conquerors fall here at home. Put up a strong second half, outscored by five points here in the second. And um, fell short there at the end. In just a second, we'll get you the the second half stats and the full game stats and name the Red Fox Cafe player of the game. Just give us one minute. All right, first for day spring, Daniel Adams, DJ Adams finishes with 15, Kayla Murray with 13, Cole Rehoff with seven, Bryce Riel with 15, Eric Helgeson with two, Jasher Sunsian with two, Grant Murray seven, Jeremiah Friel two, Caden Kahar, uh, Enoch Guo with two, Joseph Muscarella with 12, and then Philip Cho with eight. For the Conquerors, Ilya Marquette with 13, Brendan Fry with seven, John Patrol had just one, Joe Patrol had four, JJ Buscogger had two, Andrew Patrol had seven, Tyler Cooper had two, <coughs> Andrew Schreiber had two, and your Red Fox Cafe player of the game, Will Wojcicki with 16. Thank you for joining us for Fairman Media's coverage of Conquers basketball. Again, join us February 5th for the Conquers versus the alumni. Thank you for listening.